Hey guys, Dr. Childs here. Today we're gonna to be talking about the best thyroid medication for weight loss. If you are a thyroid patient, if you've been struggling to lose weight, even though you're trying to eat healthy, you're trying to exercise and so on, um, this is the video for you because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down the most effective thyroid medications for weight loss. So if you've been struggling with this, then this, you should find this helpful. If you don't know me, I'm Dr. Childs and I help patients who have thyroid problems, people who have hormone imbalances, and of course people who have trouble losing weight, which is really kind of what this is about. We're gonna be talking about the thyroid, but we're also gonna be linking it to weight loss. So let's talk about that. Now, a question I get asked all the time is, will thyroid medication help me with weight loss? And the answer is, it depends. Now, there are certain thyroid medications in certain people that can help, and certainly some thyroid medications are far more effective than others at helping with weight loss. But I want you to understand that, before we even talk about all this stuff, that uh, thyroid hormone isn't necessarily the answer to everybody's problem with weight, okay? Even if you're a thyroid patient. Now, it is usually part of the equation, and it is usually a big part of the equation, but it is usually not the case that you get on a thyroid medication, and let's say you're 50 pounds overweight or something like that, and you're going to go from 50 pounds overweight to the, your exact target weight in a matter of a couple months. It usually doesn't work like that, and we'll talk about that as we kind of go on a little bit. So, with that in mind, let's talk about the best thyroid medication, and actually we're going to say thyroid meds, because we're going to talk about a couple here, thyroid meds for weight loss. Now, without a doubt, if weight loss is your primary goal, the best medications are those which contain T3. But let me put a disclaimer on here and say that you can, it is feasible and possible to lose weight with any thyroid medication. However, it is far more likely and far more efficient to use these T3 thyroid medications. These T3 thyroid medications, in fact, are abused, I guess is a, is a good word to, to describe it, but they're abused by bodybuilders who are trying to cut um, extra fat on their body. Now, I do not recommend using it in that way, okay? And the way we're talking about is we're talking about replacing lost thyroid hormone in the, in the person who doesn't produce enough thyroid hormone to begin with. I'm not talking about using excessive doses of T3 to artificially increase your T3 to burn more fat and to rev up your metabolism. That does work, but it comes at a cost and it's not what I recommend, okay? So the medications which you should know about if you are a thyroid patient which help with weight loss include lyothyronine, and I'll talk about these as we go, I'm just gonna go through these real fast, Cytomel, Sustained Release T3, formulations of NDT, which stands for Natural Desiccated Thyroid, and also I should put in here compounded T4, T3 thyroid meds, okay? So you can, you can actually compound T4 and T3 together through a compounding pharmacy, and you can get whatever ratio of T3 that you want. But the key is that you need to have some element of T3. Now, lyothyronine tends to be, or well, it is, it isn't, doesn't tend to be, it is the generic form of Cytomel. So Cytomel is the brand name, lyothyronine is the uh, generic name, and these both contain pure T3. So if you were to get a prescription for lyothyronine or Cytomel, the only thyroid hormone found inside of those medications is T3, right? The active ingredient is T3. You should understand the difference here between these medications which contain T3 and medications such as level thyroxine and Synthroid. Notice that these are not on this list, okay? Level thyroxine and Synthroid are not on our list of thyroid medications which help with weight loss because they can contain a completely different thyroid hormone and that is T4. T4 is not the active thyroid hormone. The reason these are so much more effective is because it contains the active thyroid hormone, which is T3, and it skips the conversion process necessary in order to get that by your body. So you're just providing your body the direct and most biologically active form of thyroid hormone. In this case, it's T3. Sustained release T3, that comes from a compounding pharmacy as well. The only difference between lyothyronine and Cytomel is that this is a sustained release version, whereas these are immediate release versions. So sustained release tends to be a little bit better for people who um, maybe are a little bit sensitive to lyothyronine or Cytomel. You can actually give these people sustained release T3. It slows down the absorption in the GI tract and it helps the body to be able to use a lot, utilize that T3 a little bit better without symptoms. NDT, which stands for natural desiccated thyroid and includes medications like WP thyroid, um, NP thyroid, Armour thyroid, Nature Throid, et cetera. Lots of different brands fall into uh, this you know, family of, of medications called natural desiccated thyroid. Um, they used to be pretty good. They're, they're over here on this list because they're not the best type of medication because they contain a lot of T4. Same thing with compounded T4 and T3 medication, but they still contain some element of T3. Uh, I think it's around 20%, maybe 21%, something like that. Um, so when you get any dose of natural desiccated thyroid, about 20% is T3, whereas 100% of these um, would be filled with T3 medication. So there is a difference between the two, but yes, they're included here because they contain some T3. So these are the medications that you want to look for. And 
Unfortunately, these are the medications which your doctor is the least likely to prescribe for a, for a variety of other reasons which we've talked about in other videos. But these are the ones that you want to get your hands on um, if you can. Number two would be, uh, or a couple questions I want to answer here would be relating to, te would, would be relating to weight loss um, and thyroid medications more generally. So one of the questions that I get asked a lot is, can you lose weight on medications like level thyroxine? And the answer is absolutely yes. It is definitely possible. I have seen many people who lose weight on level thyroxine, including Synthroid and Tyrosint and other versions. The difference is that for people to lose weight, they must be pretty good at what's called thyroid conversion. They must not have other issues inside their body which slow down or impair this process. So if you are one of those lucky few people, um, there are actually a fair amount of people statistically speaking, but if you're one of these people, then you can take that level thyroxine and synthroid, turn it into T3 on your own, and that means you won't necessarily have to take T3 as a medication. But if you have a problem converting your T4 into T3, then using a medication like lyothyronine, cytomel, or sustained release T3 would be preferable in that situation, okay? So can you lose weight? Yes. Um, is it likely that you're going to lose a lot of weight? For most people, no. Um, but it's worth a shot because this is a lot easier to get from your doctor. T4 level thyroxine and synthroid are a lot easier. But you do not see bodybuilders abusing T4 thyroid medication for weight loss. You see them using T3 for a reason, okay? So the next question is, how long will it take for weight loss? How, how long will it take once I start taking thyroid medications to see an improvement, to see my weight decrease? Now, this really depends on the person, but I would say you should see weight loss within the first four to six weeks if you are on the right type of medication, if you're on the right dose of medication, um, and so on. So if you've been using a thyroid medication for six months and you haven't seen any weight loss, that's probably not the medication for you. There's probably something wrong with your dose. It's either not getting into your body, or maybe you need to consider looking at something like some thyroid medication, which contains T3. So four to six weeks is when you will start to see some benefit of weight loss, okay? But it may take six plus months or all the way up to 12 months in some cases for you to actually realize the total amount of weight loss that you will experience as you're using thyroid medication. Um, the reason is that it just takes a while for your metabolism to rev up once you start taking thyroid medication and it takes a while for that to occur. And so six to 12 months, by the time you've been on a thyroid medication for 12 months, and let's say you'll, you know, you're going to lose the maximum amount of weight that you probably will on that dose of thyroid medication. So for the record, I just want you to be aware of that. Now, the next question is how much weight will I lose when I start using the right type of thyroid medication? Again, this is variable, but it's going to come, in a, come as a, a surprise to most people that when you find the right dose of thyroid medication, it is probably not going to normalize your weight right? So the thyroid is usually only responsible for, I would say somewhere between five and 15 pounds of extra weight. So let's say in the example I used previously, I used an example of somebody who is 50 pounds overweight. Um, and I said, this person is not going to just get on some T3 and lose all 50 of those pounds. That's not going to happen, but they might lose five to 15 pounds effortless, effortlessly within that six to 12 month range that I just mentioned. And the reason for this is a, it, well, it's a little bit complex, but the idea is this, when you have a thyroid problem, it brings down other hormones in your body and those hormones then contribute to weight. So of the 50 pounds that you are overweight, some percentage of that is from your thyroid, some percentage is from your estrogen and progesterone, some percentage is from um, issues from your gut and the absorption of nutrients, and some percentage is from low testosterone and cortisol and so on. So when you pay, put together this picture, you can kind of piece together how the weight is compiling to reach that total of 50. And it's only a fraction is from your thyroid, but the other, the other bits and pieces of that weight come from other hormone imbalances, which may have been caused by the thyroid, um, by the way. So you kind of have to put that together, but realistically, five to 15 pounds is what you should expect uh, based off your weight. Uh, you know, that isn't always true, but I would say for the most part, it's somewhere around there, at least in my experience. So this is uh, when you're looking to get, or when you're looking to lose weight, I would recommend searching for medications which contain T3 if weight loss is your primary goal. Now you don't necessarily have to do this, but I'm talking specifically to those group of people or the group of people that is interested in weight loss. There are obviously natural ways that you can do this. You can naturally increase your T3 levels. You can change your diet. You can exercise more and so on, which I recommend you do all these things anyway, but I want to answer this specific question um, in this video. So if you have questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer those. And if you haven't already, be sure that you download my free thyroid PDF resources. I have tons of information just like this, all designed to help thyroid patients. And you can get those all for free if you want um, down in the description below. So make sure you do that. And that's all I have for you guys today. And otherwise I will see you in the next one.